Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 2 of our classic Career Survival series. Today we will be building an electric truck roughly based in the shape of a vehicle called a Mercedes-Benz Unimog. The purpose of building this vehicle is so we can transport all of our casualties from the boat dock down to the hospital rather than having to walk them all there. But anyway guys, as always, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get started. Alrighty, so let's just jump straight into it. We only have $11,200, so we may have to take our boat back. I'm not too sure, but we'll see how we go. So what we'll do to start off with, we'll grab some wheels, which I have recently just unlocked. And we'll go like this. So they cost us all our research points. We had seven by the time we finished that mission last episode. And these wheels costed seven as well, so that is everything gone. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of all of this. We're going to come forward to about there maybe one more wouldn't hurt something like that and then these will be the chassis rails they're going to go all the way towards the back which we'll sort out shortly so what i thought we'd start with is the front so we'll go like that or maybe what we'll do we'll put some wedges on actually it might look a little bit better so turn these around like so and we'll come out just to about oh maybe there and then we'll grab some pyramids chuck them in the middle here Boop. awesome and then we'll come up a few blocks maybe through two or three three something like that if we go three then the floor can sit on that level that might be all right and then we'll fill the middle in just like so so we'll sort that out in just a second let's get the motors and that in while we're here uh so motors we'll grab maybe or should we put them yeah we'll put them here what if we have three should be fine yeah because we might want to increase the diameter of these wheels anyway so we're going to need a bit of power so let's get some pipes out now and we'll connect all of these together so we'll have a cross in the middle just like that, and we'll have a couple angles, boom, 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 just like that, and we're going to need a gearbox, so we'll put that right here, uh, facing that way would probably be better, and then we'll go back to some pipes, and we'll connect all this with a T-piece at the bottom there, so that's got to come up ways, and then that is going to go towards the back, and then we can connect that together, awesome, so we'll just go like that, that's pretty cool, and then we'll just grab some straight pipes, and that'll go straight to the rear axle wherever we end up putting that, so we'll just make it hang out the back there for now, That'll be fine. Awesome. So next up, we can probably grab some more wedges. Oh, E-C-E-W-E. -E, spelling properly, please. And we'll turn that around. Go like that. And then what can we do here? If we chuck some of these in like so, and then we'll grab a one by two. Turn that around. Yes. Oh, actually, we'll come up like that. That'll give the bonnet a little bit of an angle. It should look pretty good. And we'll go a one by two and drag that across just like so. Okie dokie, so what we could probably do, this will be where the top of the wheel arch will go, I'd say, something like that. And then we'll fill that in there and we'll put a few wedges in to make up like a little wheel arch type thing, I suppose, something like that. That looks pretty good. And then we'll do a similar thing on this side as well, so we'll come down like that. Yeah, just like that, that's pretty good. So we'll have our floor going along here, but before we do that, we might put some batteries in, actually. It's probably not a bad idea. So we'll grab some of those bad boys out. So we've only have small ones, unfortunately, but that's the best we can do. So we'll go like this all the way along. Wouldn't hurt, would it? So we go boom, 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 boom. Hopefully we have enough money for all of this. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, hmm. Maybe we could do all of this normal pipe blocks. We can plug some more batteries in on top of that. So we'll grab some of these straight pieces off this one here and bring that back. So we can put a few more batteries in. It's pretty good. So we'll fit as many of these in as we can afford. Or even if we just fill up all the floor just like that, that should be enough. Like, that's a, that's a lot of batteries. <laughs> we'll go like that. Okie dokie. So we'll leave it there because we don't know how long the back's going to be just yet. And then we're safe to put the floor back on, I think. So we'll go like this. Can I bring that all the way to the front? Yep, just like that. Okay. And then, so we'll have the windshield sitting about here. And that will come up to here. So we'll leave a three gap. And then that will be the first cabin. And then we'll have the second cabin. So it should only be about this long, or maybe one block longer, actually, won't it? Yeah, it'll be one block longer, I think. So if we go like this, and we'll bring it up to here. This will be the back of the cab, I'm pretty sure. Then we'll have some center poles like that. All right, so what are we going to do here? What if we grab a couple of these? Turn that around. Yeah, okay. So this will be filled in, I think. Oh, no, we don't have doors, will we? We haven't got them unlocked. That's all right. We'll just keep going then. We'll go like that. And then we'll go one by four. Will that be too tall? Will that look okay if we go like this? Can I drag that? Yep. Okay. Something like that it looks very tall. What if we fill the roof in? Oh, yeah. That looks all right. That looks very good. That sort of even looks like the real thing because <laughs> they're very boxy in real life. I, th I think that look quite cool. Uh, so hopefully this will be all right. All right. We'll keep going. 
Um, so let's get some seats out. Uh, we only need one of these on one side. What's that going to look like? That seems to sit up a bit high for my liking. I wonder if we can... All right, let's try something. Whereabouts do they sit right there? Okay, so if we get rid of them, we'll make a little hole in the floor for a moment and we'll just put a little bit of a floor layer on and then we'll put the seats back in. We'll just do one driver seat probably is enough. <laughs> one driver at a time is good. And then we'll have a passenger seat next to that. So if we go like this they sort of sit in the floor a little bit but that's all right and then we can probably get rid of all these pieces we go on both sides all of that yeah okay what have we got left over here a bit of a hole in the floor what if we put a few wedges in like so i think that looks all right especially from the side there looks pretty good so we might go with that and then we'll do a similar thing in the back then and what if we can fit all that in so we've got some passenger seats in here too we go like this and we'll get some more seats out and we just have Two seats like this. Can we fit more in? Nah, we can't. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. And then maybe we can put some wedges in front of them as well. So there's a little bit of room in there. Yeah, something like that. That's probably fine. And then we can get rid of all of this stuff on the bottom, can't we? Yes, okay. Um, It still looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we could probably just fill it in with some blocks, I guess. Why not? So if we just run some blocks all along there. Kind of looks like it's connected at least. <laughs> that's fine. Alrighty, so that is looking pretty good if you ask me. I quite like it. So what we'll do next, we've got the pipes coming down there. Okay, we might try and put a little tray on the back. So if we come up like this and we have the tray sitting at the same height as the floor, okay, and go like that, that's a pretty big tray. That'd probably be, be pretty good. We might just take a couple off it, make it look a little bit better. Something like that, that'll be fine. And then we've got to work out where we're going to put this back wheel. Um, so if we go like this, we'll grab those back out, turn them around. Yes, something like that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, all right, let's go with that and we'll see if it looks good at the end. So what we'll do, we'll have to connect up this and make it look half connected, I suppose. We go like that. And then we need a way to get in the tray as well. Uh, we don't have steps, so maybe we could use some ladders maybe. If we go like this, we turn them around. Can we do that? Yep, okay. Something like that, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, let, let's go with that and see what it looks like when we're finished, I suppose. Awesome. Um, so what we'll do, we'll quickly connect up some pipes to this here. So we'll have to go get some more pipes out. I have to come down. Can we do that, please? Just like so. That's going along and down. And then we'll split that across with a T-piece, I suppose. Just like that. And what we'll put in front of that is some little wedges, I guess. Make it look like it's connected. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like a little diff, maybe. I don't know. We'll go like this and we'll put another one. Just there. It's pretty cool. Oh, you know what we could do? Make it look a little bit better. If we put some little pyramids on there as well, it would really look like a diff center. Yeah. All right. Something like that. And we'll do the same on the back too. And boop. And go like that. All righty. So next up, we might try and make the tray look half decent if we can. We've put some little wedges on like that. Yeah. All righty. And then we'll do a similar thing along here. Yes. And maybe we could finish those corners off with some of that. Yeah, it kind of makes it look a bit tubbish, I suppose. Something like that. And we'll come along, stand these up, and we'll have to stop it there so we can actually get in and out of the thing, I suppose. Awesome. And what we could do at the back, maybe put some wedges in back here, along like that, and maybe fill in the side. Don't know what we're going to do with this piece. Maybe we can grab an inverse pyramid, Let's turn it around like that. Oh, that's going to look a bit weird at the back, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is. And we'll fill that in like so. It does look a bit strange. It looks a bit too curvy at the back, I guess. Eh, we'll leave it for now. We can always change it, I suppose. And we'll put some little wheel arches in here as well. Make it look half decent. Something like that, maybe. And we'll turn that around and go along like that. All right, maybe we should go right up against the body as well. Make it look a little bit better. So we'll come in like that. Yeah, that's a bit better. Turn that around. In one more. And go like that. That looks a lot better, actually. We'll probably do the same thing of this one as well. So we'll come like this. Yeah, what if we just do three on here to make it look like it's connected at least? That's pretty good. It kind of makes it look like a little wheel arch. They're very nice. We probably won't worry about that one. They'll be fine. Alrighty, so we could probably put in some sort of little fuel tank looking thing. <laughs> so if we go like this, if we spread that out like that, and we'll do a similar thing on the bottom. Grab some wedges, turn that around, go like this, go upside down and along like that. That will give it a sort of fuel tank sort of look, even though it's electric <laughs> but it looks a little bit better like that anyway and what we could probably do what if we actually put some ladders in here do we need ladders 
Nah, I don't think we will. We'll see if we struggle with getting in and out of it or not. Um, what we could probably do, make these wheels a little bit bigger. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> what if we go 1.75? Well, it looks like a beast, doesn't it? Far out. They stick out a fair bit like that, so maybe we could probably go 1.5. We'll see what that looks like all around. We'll change all of these. Boop, and this one too. Awesome, just like that. How about we spawn this in and see what it looks like? That looks awesome. That looks really cool. I like it. <laughs> Let's jump in and see what the view's like. Boop. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. Nice. All right. It looks like a, a nice little four-wheel drive truck thing. <laughs> Rescue truck. All right. So we'll jump back out. Oh, how's the pillar? It's kind of in our face a little bit, but we can still see where we're going. So I think it will be just fine. Although we could move the seats back a little bit. Uh, nah, I think it'll be fine. Let's take it back to the workbench. Alrighty, so next up, what we could probably work on is the interior. So we might put some blocks along the back there. And we need to be able to fit dials in somehow. So maybe we can get some wedges come up like this. Can we go along? Yep, all right. We can sit some dials along the top here. It'll be pretty good. So maybe we'll have them facing up. It's probably a good idea as well. Turn them around like this. Boom, boom, and boom. We probably won't need too much more than that, I'd say. So what we'll do, we'll have a battery dial, obviously, because that is... One of the most important things, <laughs> so we go battery, and we'll have a maximum reading of one on that one. And just thinking about it, we probably won't need these two either, so maybe we could change those to some buttons. So we'll put toggle buttons in here, so maybe we can have some sort of lights to be pretty good. So maybe we'll just break into here and here, and we'll grab a couple of these, and we'll turn them around this way. We'll go like that. Ah, uh, yep, very nice. And while we're here, we'll quickly change those so they're not so bright. So something like that is pretty good. Awesome, so we could probably connect that up to one of these buttons so we could have uh, headlights and then high beam on this one. So let's label these. So we've got headlights on this one, just like so, headlights, and this will be high beam, just like that. Awesome, so their default is off for both of them and we have a battery there. Awesome, that's pretty good. And we could probably just fill in the rest of the dash here. Can we just put regular blocks in? Yes, we can, awesome. And we could probably have a little button for some work lights on the back too. Maybe we could have just a couple sitting up here. Wouldn't hurt. We'd go like that. And maybe on the back of the truck, we could have a couple of lights hanging off here. That's pretty cool. And that will be red on the back. So we'll change those to red. Very nice. They might always be on. That probably wouldn't hurt, would it? Yeah, no, nah, that's pretty cool. Maybe Or maybe they'll turn on when we turn on the front headlights. We'll go boom, boom, and boom, and boom. Awesome, so we're going to need to connect up some brakes for this thing too. So we go trigger, we'll turn the handbrake on for all four. Very nice. And then we're actually going to need one more button for those work lights on the back. So maybe we can just have a little button sitting over here out of the way a little bit. So this will be work lights, just like so. And we'll connect that up to the ones on the top. Boom, boom. Awesome, that is looking pretty good. Now we should probably put some specialist equipment in here next. That wouldn't hurt, would it? So maybe we'll have the back with all of that in it. So I was thinking... Along the sides, we might actually get rid of some of this. <laughs> uh, oh, no, not that one. This one here. We'll just have those as solid blocks, I guess. So we'll just go up like that. We're going to have some seats along here. So we're going to have to get rid of these ones as well, actually. Far out. And boom, boom. And like that. Awesome. So we'll put a row along here. We'll get some seats out and some of these ones. Because we don't have many inside. We only have three spare seats. So we're gonna, probably going to need a bit more than that at some point. So maybe we'll go two, four six along here and then from there on this could be specialist equipment that's probably a pretty good idea go up like the oh not that high we'll get rid of that layer all right so let's go specialist what have we got to play with here so we can have a couple of fire extinguishers that definitely wouldn't go astray so maybe we can stick them in the side or even underneath the seats i guess because they're keep them out of the way like that awesome and then maybe up here we'll have some first aid equipment we'll just go Along the top here, I guess. May as well. So turn these around that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Six, six is enough. <laughs> We're running out of money very quickly. I have 900 bucks left. Uh, Defib, we'll chuck that right there. And then can we afford some welders? They're $400 together. Okay, a welder each on the bottom of here, I guess. So maybe we'll just go one here. Or we'll probably, well, let's take an underwater welding just in case underwater welding gun just in case because we may need it at some point you never know where we're going to end up sort of thing <laughs> but anyway is there anything else here we need a cable or oh, a charging port they're only 15 bucks each yeah we're definitely going to need one of these so maybe we'll chuck it in what if we just put it right here that's probably pretty good we'll just go like 
that and then we'll put the cable next to it just in case we run out of power somewhere boom and we'll paint that little piece yellow so that is our little charging color awesome that's pretty good all right and lastly before we give it a paint what we'll do we'll connect this up to our steering so they're going to be the wrong way one's going to be inverted isn't it let's work out which one that is i think this left hand side is going to be the inverted one i believe so what we'll do we take that off and we'll put it back on and flip it around oh wrong way like this and we need to in flip it and i think that'll be correct I believe so. Well, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? <laughs> so let's connect up the A and the D to the, uh, not the very well, right, the steering on each side. And then the W and S to the throttle. So boom, boom, boom. Also, we need to change this gearbox, don't we? Get in here. What if we go 9.5 or we go 3.2? Uh, we'll go 9.5 and see if that works out for us. So what I'll do, I'll give this thing a quick paint and I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, so this is all done and painted. We have a yellow cab with some grey chassis and tub with some black rims and black diff centers. Looks pretty good. I quite like it. Oh, we also have this, this browny kind of color dash. I don't know why I've got brown. I don't, I don't mind it for some reason. <laughs> but anyway, and we have looks like red seats inside with some bluish floor. Looks pretty cool. And we have our back tub there. It looks pretty nice. So there's two more things we need to do. We just need to add some rope anchors to this bad boy and carry some rope with us. So... Maybe we can have a couple sitting down here. Might look pretty tough. So we'll go like, uh, maybe underneath the headlights, perhaps. We'll go like that. Yeah, we got something like that. And we could probably have a couple on the back as well. We put them in here. Probably wouldn't hurt. So we'll go like that. We can always add more as well, but this is all we need for now. And we need to store some rope somewhere. So we're going to have to grab some of that out. And we only have 96 bucks left, and these are $200 each. Oh, dear. Maybe we won't carry rope on us just at the moment then. So we can't really afford it, can we? <laughs> uh, anyway, so we'll give these a quick paint. So we have to come back after we've done a mission or so and put a few more bits and pieces on this thing, but that's all right. Not a problem at all. And we'll paint those as well. Awesome. So I'll just connect this up to some power and then we'll take it out for a spin and see how it goes. Okie dokie. So that is all done. As you can see, all the power is hooked up. So I think we're ready to give this thing a test now. So we'll spawn it in. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. <laughs> Very good. All right, so we'll jump aboard. Boop. Okay, now how's our steering? Yeah, that's all good. All right, can we go forwards? Yeah, no. Oh, that front wheel is going backwards. <laughs> Hold on, let's go and fix that up real quick. All right, guys, so we actually need a little bit of logic for this, which we have not unlocked just yet, and that is an inverter to be able to change this around. So there's not much we can do about it just for now. So I've just stuck a little block in there, as you can see. So it's just rear-wheel drive for the moment, but that's all right. It'll be the first thing we unlock when we've done another mission with our research point. So we'll spawn it in, and we'll go for a little test drive anyway and see how it all performs. We'll jump in our seat. All righty, so let's go forwards. Yep, all right, yep, she works. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. Awesome. All right, well, what we can do, we might head down to our boat, and what we'll do, let's just go test the suspension on this thing real quick. Actually, let's drive down these rocks. We'll head down to our boat, and we're going to go and do a mission, and then we'll come back, and we'll give this thing a whirl. All right, let's go down these little rocks in our two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. <laughs> awesome. Very good. Nice. Awesome. It goes really good. <laughs> All right, so we'll go and park it over here for the moment. Oh, she's a bit leany. Might have to stiffen up the suspension a little bit, but that's all right. We can definitely do that. All right, so what we'll do... We'll come to about here, and then we're going to turn this thing around, so we're parked, ready to go. All right, a little bit more. There's our little boat. We'll just park it right here. That'll be just fine. So the battery is draining for some reason. Why is that? Okay, I don't know what's going on. 98%, that's fine. We should have plenty to be able to get down there and come back. Even a few times should be fine. All right, what we'll do, we'll edit this thing, and we'll spawn it back in, and we'll see if there's any missions around now. Uh, oh, yeah, there's heaps. What's this one? Uh, fishing boat for help. What's this? Seven thousand dollars. Picnic boat has an emergency. Two people overboard. Two people and three people. We could go around to that one. There's a hospital boat there. Ah, a blue boat is in distress, requesting assistance. Let's do that one. It's three people and a fire. We should have time to do that. Oop, boink. All right, we'll jump in our seat now. We've got to turn this bad boy on. Have a news it for a whole episode, man. Nearly forget. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, and full throttle. Very good. So how far away is this mission? 2.9 kilometers. Easy peasy, man. So we just got to go around the corner a little bit and it will be right there. So this one will give us $9,000 and the other two are only seven. That's all right. So we'll head around here, sort these guys out. We'll come back, chuck me in our ambulance and head to the hospital. 
Okie dokie, so we're only about 500 meters away now, which is pretty good. I can see the hospital boat out all the way over there. I'd love to go and use it now, but I really want to use our new vehicle, so we're going to leave him, otherwise we would. <laughs> all right, so we're getting very close. Uh, I haven't seen too many fish around here. Oh, there's one there. Oh, I lie. <laughs> I was looking before, and I couldn't see too many, but that's all right. Okie dokie, so get ready to slow down. I really don't want to run into them. This boat goes really well, actually. I quite like using this. All right, let's come a little bit closer and see if we can put the fire out from our boat. It'd be really good. And I believe there's three people here, which is pretty nice. All right, a little bit of money for us. So we'll put this fire out from here if we can. Oh, it's a pretty big one, actually. Might not be... Oh, something just <laughs> something just blew up. Fire out. All right, we're going to have to go jump aboard. Oh, cool. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Up, skip. There we go. All right, let's get this fire out. Uh, yes, can I get in the back here? Yep, do you have a ladder? Yes, you do. Great. Good thinking. Okie dokie. Oh, there's a dead person. Oh, dearie me. Okay, come on. How'd you get? I can't afford to die. Where is the rest of that fire? Is it downstairs? Can I get in? Oh, what's this? Thermal equipment. Where is that fire? Is it down here? Yep, okay, it's out. Awesome. I might take that, actually. It's probably a good thing to have. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, can I, can I get out? Uh-oh. <laughs> can I grab on one of those seats? Yes, I can. All right, so we might start with this guy since he's not doing so well. Our boat's over there. All right, let's just swim around. There you go. Oh, you're only dead too. Far out, man. <laughs> All good. All right, here's our ladders. Let's go up the side and we'll chuck these guys aboard. Oh, wait. All right, chuck you there for a minute. Where is the defib? All right, better put the extinguisher back first. We'll put that right there. Grab this and fix this guy up. So I have to give him a couple of health packs as well, I'd say. Oh, whoop. Okay, we'll keep an eye on this guy. Let's go and grab the next victim. Whoop. There we go. Boing. All right. We'll grab you as well. Oh, have you died? Uh, did he just die like right in front of me? I don't know. Anyway, we'll chuck him aboard. Uh, here we go. And put you out there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did die right in front of me. Far out, man. All right. Here you up as well. You can sit right there. All right. We're going to grab your last mate. Oh, whereabouts is he? There he is. Are you the only okay one? Please tell me. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. You're pretty fine. Awesome. Uh, we better keep an eye out for sharks as well. I don't feel like running into any of those fellows. Not to my cup of tea. <laughs> Unlike last season, we ran into them for a little bit. That's all right. All right, let's get you up here. Whoop. Okay, and we'll just put you there. You'll be fine. All right, can you all please stay alive until we get back? That would be great. Let's turn this boat on. Is it starting? Yep, it's on. All right, let's go around this way. Whee! And we'll head back home. Whoop, all the way around. Okie dokie, let's just make sure we're going the right way. Yes, we are. Oh, I wonder if we could... You know what we could do? Let's pick up these people on the way past. We may as well. I can't be bothered to go look for all those fellows. But anyway. <laughs> well, how long has the mission got? 32 minutes on that one. What's this one got? 38 minutes. Ah, oh, we could probably do them all, you know. I just don't want the episode to be too long. Ah, we'll do it. We may as well. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys when we get there. All right. We're just about here now. Looks like there is quite a fire far out. <laughs> what boat's that? Is that, that's, a, that's a new one. Awesome. Nice. Well done. All right. Let's stop right here. Okie dokie. Let's put the defib away. We'll grab an extinguisher out. All right. See if we can get that fire out from here. That'd be really, really good. Or well, majority of it anyway, so we can go and step on the boat. Oh, right, just a little bit over there. That'll be all of it. No, nope, Another jump. We'll jump over. Oh, a casualty's died. Perfect. <laughs> just what we need. Come on. Let's put that last little piece out there. There we go. Come on. Awesome. All right. So where is everyone? How many people are here too? So we got one here. No? You don't want to be rescued? <laughs> All right, I'll do your last then. Whatever, where's your other mate? Okay, the other guy is floating in the water over there. I don't know why the other guy doesn't want to be rescued. Oh, this guy's properly died. Ah! Because this guy was a waste of time, man. <laughs> uh, mission ended. Huh? What? Do we not get to do it at all? Oh, you, you, <laughs> you're kidding. Oh, far out, man. Well, the other guy did say no, so I guess he... I should have listened to him. All right, well, I just... Uh, what do I do with this? I just... Um, okay, don't look. <laughs> a sea burial. That's what he wanted. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's a pity. We could have made a bit of extra money there. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, the waves are picking up a little bit, are they? Uh, so, the next mission is down this way a little bit. So, I'll head down there, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, so there is one of them right there, and there is another one down there. So if we grab this guy first, and we can get that fellow on the way back to our base, which just works out pretty well. So let's get ready to stop. We don't want to run him over if we don't have to. Or maybe we will. We'll see how we go. A little bit closer. And here comes the greatest boat driver of all. <laughs> Perfect. Let's stop right here. Uh, have you got a pumpkin on your head? No? Is that just your hair? Okay, fair enough, man. 
All right, we'll grab you. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nice. Can I get on the side of the boat? Oh, we're getting thrown around. <laughs> get on, get on, get on. Okay, we're on. Awesome. Let's chuck this guy. Still got him? Yep, all right. Let's chuck him right there. It is getting dark very quickly, but that's all right. So everyone's healed up. Let's quickly head down and grab this guy while it's still light and we can see what we're doing. Come on. Let's go this way, please. Yep, just take it easy. No rush. So whereabouts is the other flash? Uh, right in front of us. So I guess we'll head down this way and I'll see you all in a moment. Here he is. And we'll get ready to slow right down. Let's turn those lights on. Awesome. Okay, and there he is. Stop, 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 stop before we go straight past him. Can I grab you up on the way past? Please, please, please. Ah, yes. <laughs> we'll chuck you right there. All right, we have quite a half full boat, don't we? All right, with a lot of passengers. All right, let's go back home. Head back down this way. Yep, and the boat is on. Awesome. Okay, I quite like going this way with the waves. It works out pretty well. Not really mucking us about too much. How's our battery? It's going up. Temperature's also going up. <laughs> RPS is about 12, and our fuel's on 164. So I've used about 16, 17 liters um, in that whole kind of loop that we've just done, which is pretty good. Not too bad at all. And we're going at a pretty decent speed, so you can't really complain. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okie dokie. So we're just coming up to our little shelter now. So let's get ready to slow right down. We don't want to run into anything if we can't help it. If we can help it. All right, so super careful. The waves are pushing us around a fair bit. That's right. We'll just take it real easy. Oh, try not to crash. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. All right, stop. <laughs> we're in our little, our little shed. That's pretty good. All right, so I might put the fire extinguisher away. We'll just chuck that in there. And I'll carry these with... Oh, we have to see... We have some on the um, Unimog, don't we? On our little rescue vehicle. Cool. All right, so we'll go one at a time. Whoop. Come on. Up. Come on. Up here. Very good. Uh, up here. Uh, come on. There we go. Cool. So I'll just chuck you there for a moment. I'll get all your friends, and I'll put you all in the car. Okie dokie. So I've got them all up here. We're going to get them all to follow me, you as well, and you. And we'll take you all to this thing. Look at this beast. You're all privileged to ride in it. <laughs> we didn't put an interior light in, actually. Why, why did I do that for? Anyway. You can jump up there, and the rest of you are all in the back. So, follow me, please. Boop. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. You're literally going to follow me. Actually, there's room inside for one more person, I'm pretty sure. But you can all sit out here, because I don't care about any of you. All right, so we'll take this boat back so it doesn't get too dinged up in the dock there. Get rid of that. Now, how much money have we got now? 15,000, nearly 16,000. That's pretty good. So, we'll jump in our Unimog. Our Unimog lookalike. We'll jump in. Now, our headlights, do they work? Our high beams, yeah, everything works. Okay, nice. Cool. And the work lights in the back, they all work as well. Cool. All right, so we have to head down there in the dark. But that's all right. Turn the handbrake off, and let's get a wriggle on. We'll just be super careful. We only have rear-wheel drive as well, so we can slide out pretty easily, but that's okay. All right, so we'll just try and follow the road if we can. The headlights are pretty good, actually. Not too bad. I wish we were driving in the day, though, so we can actually see it. But anyway, not much I can do about it. So we have to get these guys delivered. So that's the hospital down there to our right. So we need to go down this way. Yes, very good. Maybe we'll sleep down here, then drive it back in the day. So we can actually have a look at it driving and be pretty good. All right, we'll keep going. Just about there, we have that light shining in the passenger's face. Oh, what is that? Okay, there's something on the road there. <laughs> anyway, we have the light shining in all their faces. It's nice. Too bad. <laughs> all right, here we are. And just about pulling up. We'll try and get close to the front door. Then we'll heal everyone up before we take them in, though. Hi, how's it going? All right, we'll just pull up right here. Awesome. Nice. This thing goes really good. I like it. All right, so let's start with this guy. He's healed up, so we'll take him in quickly. Dump you there. Yep, that's one. And we got the other few. Is there another one in the cab? Yep, yep, one in the front here. We'll take this guy as well. Come with me, sir. And we'll dump you right there. So no one follow me. Stop following me. All right, that's two. Then we got three more in the back here, so we'll go and grab all of them. Now, who needs healing? Just you. You're a pest. <laughs> okay, we'll heal you up. We'll take you now. And then we'll come back and grab the other two, I suppose. So dump you right here. Awesome. We're getting some good money from this. Very good money. I'm keen to see what we've got when we're finished. So grab you. Put you there. Grab you. No, can you stop? Stay there. <laughs> grab you and follow me, please. Come off this way and we'll take you all back in here. Alrighty. And one and two. So that is everyone. Very nice. So we'll have a snooze and we'll head back in the morning. Okie dokie, it is now the next day, so we're going to get out of here. We're going to go jump in our truck. I think the steering's on this side, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Awesome. Uh, we'll turn that off and turn... Oh, no, that off and that one off. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's trying to follow us. Huru, watch out. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, toodles. See another. See never, actually. Toodles. <laughs> what is that thing on the road up there? Let's go and have a look at this thing, because I've seen it before in the dark. Hello. 
All right, what are you? What's up, man? Oh, bar am you. Two little... <laughs> Who knows what he's going to do to us. Let's get out of here. Let's head back home. This thing drives really well. We need to um, put that inverter piece on as well so we can have our front wheel drive. So we can have four wheel drive. Be pretty good. So let's keep going. Whee! And we'll do the research for that. We'll quickly do that by the end of the video. So here we are. We're just about to pull up now. We'll probably be able to take this thing back in just a sec. Do we have a No, we don't have a bed on this, do we? Okay, we have to spawn one in. That's fine. Awesome. So let's go into our research. And where uh, logic is this got the inverter in it? It should do, shouldn't it? A numerical inverter. Yep, that's it. Okie dokie. So we go back to that. Is that this it? Yeah, numerical inverter. We'll research that. It's only two points and we'll have five left. So that's an hour and a half. So what we'll do, we'll take this thing back and we'll spawn it in a bed, I suppose. Is this a bed here? Yep. All right, just get rid of that piece there. Spawn her in and we'll have a snooze and unlock it. Okie dokie. So we've unlocked the part now. So we're going to probably stick it down here, I'd say. Um, we'll get it out now. Inverter. Boop. And we'll just chuck it down in here. It'll be just fine. We could probably paint that all, make it look just a little bit better in case we ever flip it over. <laughs> anyway, so invert us. We've got to do this side, don't we? So steering up to there. So that should be right now. So we should be able to put the pipe back in, I believe. So we'll go pipe and we're going to go in black. So we need a, well, we, I can't even see them. Which one's the T piece? This one. All right, in black, please. So we'll turn that around the correct way. Boop. So that should work. We should have four wheel drive. Oh no, that's around the wrong way still. No, we need to replace the wheel. Oh, nearly. <laughs> Really mucked up again. Can I can I grab that, please? Yep, there it is. Awesome. So if we go like this, like so, that should be correct. So now we've got to connect all that back up again, don't we? So we go steering and up to there. All right, that should be all good. So let's save all of that and we'll spawn in and make sure that is all correct. Oop, where are we? Here we are. Okie dokie. So let's go and see if that all works. Jump up in our seats. So we still have our steering left, steering right, and we have all wheel drive. Cool. That's a lot better. Awesome. But anyway, guys, that might do us for today. We've got our little truck done. We've done a couple missions and we're all ready to do some more missions in the next episode. So for now, guys, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.